Today I want to show you how to dip the coil pots in black iron oxide. We are going to take the bisque fired coil pots, we're going to dip them in a bucket of oxide. You want to stir that oxide up first when it sits, it really settles. You can see that it was very watery on top and you have to mix it pretty vigorously, especially if you're the first class of the morning. Once it's thoroughly mixed, then you're going to take your pot, I like to hold it sideways if it has an opening, and submerse it into the oxide. After it's done dripping, then take a squeezed out clean sponge and wipe the oxide from the outside. Keep rinsing that sponge as you are wiping, rotating the sponge to a clean spot, but you really need to uh, have a sponge that has been cleaned quite a bit. Now I'm going to hit the last part of the pot and again clean sponge wiping it off trying to get all the smears off the outside. Now you can leave the inside black if you want or you can wipe that as well. It's your preference. Getting all the stuff out of the little grooves there. Next I have a sculptural form that has no opening so when you submerge something like that, you just have to be careful and allow it to kind of drip out evenly as you're holding it. And again, keep rinsing out the sponge because as the sponge gets dirty, it's going to smear it. Now I got the other part, the head part of the owl. And although I'm not going to show it here, you must always wipe the bottom too. And here are finished pieces. Bottoms have been wiped. They are ready to get refired. The oxide must get refired. And I didn't show you the camera, but I did the same thing on that. Bottoms wiped. And there we go.